Howdy. My name's Doug Parker, and I'm a developer on the Angular tooling team. We've shown you a lot of incredible Angular features already, but we're not done yet. Here are a few more awesome features we'd like to highlight. Over the last few major versions, we've made standalone components a core part of the Angular experience. In version 17, we're making standalone the default means of building applications. This means ng-new and ng-generate will now create components, directives, and pipes as standalone by default. Our documentation has also been updated to use standalone in guides and examples. We believe this will make Angular much easier to learn for new developers, with ng-module being an advanced feature developers can learn about only when they actually need it. Now don't worry, ng-module isn't going away. You can still use it just like you did before. And you can even opt out of the CLI change when you need to with the standalone false flag. Next, you might recall that we've been working hard to improve build times by migrating Angular CLI from Webpack to ESBuild and Vite. These act as modern bundling and dev serving tools with a special focus on performance. We're happy to announce that this is now enabled by default for new applications, yielding major build time improvements. As one example, the Angular Material documentation site was recently updated and received 2.5 times faster builds. That's just mind boggling. And best of all, applications using default CLI builders can get this for free with ng update, which will automatically migrate you to the new build system. However, if you have a custom Webpack configuration, you won't see these benefits. Now, Webpack isn't going away in version 17, so you can continue to use it. However, we highly recommend moving to the new ESBuild-based build system for faster compiles, performance optimizations, and future improvements. For Angular DevTools, we've launched a new way to inspect and visualize your dependency injection graph. Have you ever wondered why some injection token wasn't found, or maybe why two components aren't sharing the same instance of a service? DevTools is here to help you understand your dependency graph so you can inject more confidently. Keep an eye out on the Angular YouTube channel for a video deep dive of how you can debug dependency injection like a pro with Angular DevTools. Angular inputs have received some updates as well. You can now add custom transforms, which update values as they are received as inputs. This allows components to accept a wider variety of inputs and then normalize them to a standard type. In this case, we're using the built-in Boolean attribute transform on an input called disabled to convert its value to a Boolean. This makes the input much easier to use. We no longer need to manually bind disabled to a Boolean literal. Instead, we can just set the attribute directly. It's so much cleaner. We also have a built-in number attribute for converting to numbers, and you can even create your own transforms. The only limit is your imagination. Next, we've added yet another great quality of life improvement for authoring CSS. In the past, Angular has always required component styles to be given as an array, because a component can technically have multiple style sheets. However, in practice, we found that it's pretty rare for a single component to actually use multiple style sheets. I know I've never needed it. The array is unnecessary, adds visual noise, and can cause trouble for automated formatting tools. In version 17, Angular will now accept styles without an array, so you can just pass your string literal in directly. Both styles and a new property called style URL, singular, now accept a string directly. No more awkward array literals. If you do use multiple style sheets in a component, don't worry, arrays still work exactly like before. The only difference is that you don't need an array if you don't want it. Now, believe me, I could go on about even more awesome features in Angular version 17 and coming soon. However, that's all the time I have. You can find out more at blog.angular.io. The most important part to remember is to get all this goodness, all you have to do is run ng update. You'll get all these incredible features, performance optimizations, and bug fixes with minimal effort. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of Angular features in version 17. Don't forget to ng update, try them out for yourself. See you next time.